Hector County ISD board members have some big decisions to make in the coming months, and one of those decisions could affect where your student goes to school. Tonight, board members got a look at the first draft of the changes to school boundaries. CBS 7's Tatum Gwen was at the board meeting tonight. She joined us now. Tatum, how likely are these changes? Well, no matter what, change is on the way. Tonight, we know that ECISD will have new boundary lines for elementary, middle school, and high schools at the start of next school year. Current district boundary lines have been in place for over two decades. Today, district officials say change is necessary. We haven't done boundary adjustments in this district, comprehensive boundary adjustments for 25 years. So this is a, quite a change for us. Starting with high school, these are the current boundary lines. The first proposal is the most dramatic, moving the Odessa High School lines farther east, all the way to JBS Parkway. The second proposal is similar to the current lines. The biggest change is moving Odessa High's boundary further south. The third draft is the most similar to the current boundaries. Board members say the goal for all boundary changes is to preserve neighborhood schools and diversity. We looked at the seven diversity factors, the three uh, race-based factors and the four non-race-based factors. If we looked at creating neighborhood zones and, and eliminating these large, large uh, bus zones that we have. Moving to the middle school boundary drafts. This is what the current map looks like. The first draft splits the Ector Junior High boundary in half, sending a large portion to Crockett Junior High. This draft will also send students on the north side of town who currently attend Bonham to Hood Junior High. The second draft would send half of Ector Junior High students to Bowie. Now the district will have several community meetings to get public input on all of the drafts starting on September 8th. To get a look at each map for yourself, we have posted them on our website, cbs7.com.